the Bow River. Born at the foot of Bow Glacier and of the snowpack of the Rocky Mountains, the river flows through the foothills and the prairie. Many rivers and creeks enter and swell its size. Snowpack accounts for 80% of the Bow River's flow, while 20% comes from rainfall. After 645 kilometers, the Bow River joins the Old Man River and becomes the South Saskatchewan. Bow River water continues to travel east until it enters Hudson Bay. The Bow River Basin is home to many living creatures, human and animal. 1.6 million people in 40 communities drink Bow River water. Though household water is a substantial use, the water of the Bow supports human lives in many other ways too. Electricity. 11 dams on the Bow River and its tributaries generate hydroelectric power for cities and towns. Agriculture. Three irrigation districts withdraw water from the Bow River to irrigate crops and grazing land. The many uses of Bow River water cannot help but change the river. Towns and cities return most of the water they use, but by necessity, that water is less pure. Through state-of-the-art technology, the city of Calgary has greatly improved its treatment of wastewater. When Transalta Utilities refills its power reservoirs in summer, the river's flow is reduced. Irrigation withdrawals also reduce the river's size in the summer. Despite these many withdrawals, there's enough water in the bow for all its present uses. In fact, the volume of the river each year is roughly the same when it enters the South Saskatchewan as when it leaves Calgary. Of course, the sustainability of the bow depends on users protecting the river by increasing their efficiency. In 2006, the speed at which the Bow River Basin's human population was growing caused the province of Alberta to put a moratorium on new license applications for Bow River water. That is, only existing applications for water would be considered in future. Some asked if irrigation water should be reduced to feed growing urban demand. A more hopeful understanding might be that water for urban use, water for irrigation, and water for healthy rivers are shared and vital needs of the whole society. To make productive, sustainable use of the water we share, these are things we should all do together. All the great rivers of the world sustain life. That can only go on happening if we sustain the rivers.